for someone like me, it's triple the pain because I save up experience for the patch days so I can unlock stuff and instantly either record or stream for it. If I'd have a choice, would I exchange all my whatever, almost 3 million experience for 30,000 silver? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. <sighs> I go on holiday for two weeks and this is what I come back to. Two weeks. Two weeks of not messing up too much. And this is what we get. Yes, guys, it is me, Admiral Starks. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for being here once again. I am back from my holiday and it's kind of a shame that we need to kind of kick off with a bit of a rant ish video and don't get me wrong i am in a super good mood dude i have been to bovington wow dude there's a yagi boo i'm in a good mood that means i'm in a good mood i have been in a duxford um uh, airfield i've seen spitfires fly the avro vulcan b2 and i can't believe they let you like, I'm standing in a bomb bay right now. I'm under the aircraft, and we have a bomb bay right here. It is beyond belief how massive these things are. I am in a good mood. I was driving a fucking tank. I am in a good mood, and... I even bought a Sherman tank Lego, which means I am in a really, really, really good mood. And this is the mindset we're going to dive into this um, silver economy improvements sent back for revision. Thank the RNG Jesus for that. Um, I actually prepared before making this video because I didn't want to look for words um, and my preparation went into finding the two the most imbalanced content creators of Enlisted and watch their videos regards this situation. So I watched um, Mr. Quadro um, and I watched the absolute opposite of him, Mr. Para Division just to kind of get a feel of like what community thinks about it someone that gives zero crap someone that's kind of a more on like a formal side but still kind of is open enough to, to to hand out his opinions and things like that and um i mean they're very different but very similar you would be surprised and uh we're gonna talk about some of the silver stuff i'm gonna be genuinely ranting about the research point converse converse conversion uh that's to follow we're just gonna quickly grasp you probably all know even better than i do uh, about this blog post because you know i've been on my holiday it's been a couple of days so uh first things first silver for battle hero awards um as we all know for the first five battle hero award medal thingies you get you actually get uh, a 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, like a 10% multiplier on your experience and experience is kind of tied together with silver. So it kind of helps your silver as well. The more experience you get, the more silver you get at the end of the day, uh, which basically if you get five or more um, medals, you're going to have a 1.5 uh, times multiplier on your um, research points. Therefore, the same goes for your silver as well. And now uh, on top of that, for each medal, there are going to give you 100 silver per medal which um, is good like more silver is always good thanks for that it, it's definitely gonna help uh, to some uh, not to everyone sadly um still don't quite understand I've heard the the opinions on capping it to only five maybe cap the if you don't want to give too much silver maybe keep the research thingy capped to times 1.5 but when it comes to the hundred silver per medal if I do end up happening to earn 12 medals somehow why would you not give me 1200 silver why would you not uh, that would be my take on this should this be more per medal or less i'm not gonna comment because i'm not in a situation where i'm starving into the silver but i imagine a lot of new players would say that's that's still not much uh, so even if we keep the 100 per medal we could just unlock the cap and if people somehow end up getting more which sometimes i do sometimes someone else does uh it's lovely to see just 
Twitter, just reward them. Just reward them for that. And this would probably mitigate the necessity of whatever is going to follow down below here. Bonus for joining any um, team for me. I'm going to be as polite as I can. This is absolutely irrelevant for me. Like this makes zero change difference in how I approach the game, how I play the game, unless there's like once or twice a year, there's a challenge on stream saying, oh, click join any team and see what happens. And I can explain you. So the 20% silver boost on join any team, um, if you didn't know, there's a little checkbox you can check and, and the game is just randomly going to throw you in um, any of the nations and you don't know which, what, what, which one you're going to get. It's not as random as you think. I think it's more like the, uh, nation that is played the least uh, aka has the most AI teammates and it's the most empty that's where you're gonna end up which means you're probably gonna get stomped and you're probably gonna get lose you're gonna miss out on winning bonus you're gonna miss out probably on many medal bonuses and things like that where the 20% boost kind of kind of doesn't change anything anymore because you're probably gonna lose and you might as well go with the winning team and get the winning multiplier at the end of the day so for me who really never users join any team really doesn't change anything to me I, I don't know how many people does like i have a brand new account where i played when i wanted to see how it is to be a new player a new economy and how to live with silver grand and all that stuff and the the best way in my mind to do and i think a paradigm said something similar as well i do a nation at a time at least i'll do americans to br12 i'll see what, how it is maybe and then maybe i'll try something like i'm not gonna grind all the nations at the same time like it's just gonna be insane if you do that then i pray for you but yeah, join any team is bonkers. It's crazy if you're a new player, definitely. If you're memeing with friends together, you have everything unlocked and you know what you're doing, maybe. But it doesn't change anything to me. And now the biggest thing that I would like to rant about, and I'm going to call it a, a rant, but I'm going to try and stay as, as civilized as I can. Um, let's have a read through here. Even after reaching the top and unlocking all possible weapons, vehicles and squads, you continue to earn research points in battles that you can't spend anywhere. And when the merge came around and because in the old version of Enlisted, you wouldn't save up experience. And when the merge came around, I thought this was one of the... I mean, it was a it was a big thing. There was, again, a lot of fights and a lot of rants and things like that. It was one of the good things about merge that you could do that. And I understand it only affects um, players that actually have everything because naturally you would spend your experience. But I, I compared to many other games... I think this is this is such a cool thing about it that you can save it up and you can play the game when you have time, save up the experience and use it when you actually need to. Uh, they go on and say to ensure that your efforts don't become a dead weight on your account. We've decided on ways to make them useful and reward. Dedicated commanders will convert your excess research points into the silver. Now, there's a lot to say. Before I say anything, we're going to finish this reading. Uh, freely allocated research points won't disappear. You'll still be able to accumulate up to 25,000 points, which is kind of laughable. I'm, I'm not entirely sure we can unlock 25,000 points. We'll probably like some things at battle rating 2 only, not much more than that, on your account per country. Uh, and only the excess experience will be converted into the silver of a rate of 1 silver per 100 research points, or basically a 1%. This can increase your silver earnings in the battles by 10%. If you are actively researching something new and previously accumulated experience will be invested in it first and only after that will the remaining research points exceeding the 25,000 limit be converted to the silver. Now, uh, I don't even know where to start. I really don't need to ensure your efforts don't become a dead weight. They're not a dead weight. Make new ways to them feel useful and reward rewarding reward you know what is a reward for someone that has maxed out a nation the reward for us is the free time when we play the game to save the experience and then the reward day is aka the patch day when you add new levels to the game and we just get to click through the levels unlock them instantly and enjoy and play the new things that you add to the game because we can grind when we have time and we can unlock as soon as we you know as soon as you add it to the game and it's just such a free flowing and nice feeling to be able to because if you're not able to save up enough for unlocking a whole level for example top tier everything's like hundred. 180,000 
experience at 25k what's 25k right then whenever the update drops into the game it's just gonna be yet another grind fest you're gonna be thrown back into the same old miserable grinding but now you play with your friends you play alone you stream you record you do whatever you do on your daily basis when you have time and along the way you save that extra xp and that is our reward to unlock something just like that like that was one of the big things i took away from the merge just to take it away like that and with the rules that really doesn't benefit anyone it, it really does not benefit first of all one silver per hundred research points if you have let's let's give let's give let's give ourselves a real let's give ourselves a real example here us research everything's done so i've got almost a million research points and these research points if i would have a million would convert down to 10,000 silver. If I go to the shop and I'll be like, you know what, actually, I never play anti-tank mines. Like, I really never really play them. Let's kit out two squads of, with these. I'm gonna buy, let's say for two squads, 10 of them, 10,000 silver, AKA 1 million research can be spent just like, and this is probably not even the worst way of spending the 10k silver there are probably more miserable ways of spending 10,000 silver but all this to go all this to go all this to go okay japan i'm nowhere near that's that's fine <sighs> We go back to the fact that people that need silver are the new players and people that have everything unlocked in their tech trees probably have enough silver. They probably do have enough silver if they have everything unlocked in the game. So why would you, it's al it's almost not like a reward. It's almost like a penalty. Oh, you finished this? Well, uh, you're, you, you get thrown into endless grind after every single update that comes to the game because you can't play and you can't save up like this would stop people from playing on their free time because they know that they're gonna have to grind hard when the update comes because they're gonna have to unlock the new things you know why why why, why would you force someone why would you force the grind when you can let the people play when they have time with friends other ways alone streaming recording doing whatever just playing and along the way accumulating these so when the patch day comes it's a happy day not yet another ah oh, here we go again the grind continues never ending grind i'm not saying conversion um is entirely bad one silver per one silver per hundred research points is a little bit low i agree but why don't we have a little slider you click on your experience and there's like a little pop-out menu that says um convert experience whatever conversion whatever you click on that and you have a slider and you can choose how much of your experience you would like to exchange for your silver if someone really ends up having with tons of experience somehow and being short on the silver give them an opportunity i want this much silver i want to keep that much research and you can obviously i'm, I'm gonna try and leave this link somewhere down below and you can read down here there are many 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 good comments uh, some of them go a bit you know off the rails but there are so many good comments and people are just not okay with this and i because most of these as para division has said and i think quadro mentioned something along the lines as well most of these will benefit a top player that has everything done already and th those are the players that probably doesn't really need silver it's that it's the new profiles it's the new players we need to find ways how they're gonna earn more not us we are pro probably fine getting these getting these awards for example a new player is probably not gonna he's gonna he's gonna be lucky if he gets one or two rewards in in a game when he just starts out you know for the first for the first days and weeks you know not even not even talking about five medals or something like that a new player is not gonna use join any team it's just, it's just not because if he will he's gonna be miserable and a new player is not gonna have excess research points so these can probably be tweaked around this needs to have an, a free choice of an option if i want to i do a slider i give away hundred thousand research for this much silver i want to keep rest of my and we could keep on ranting like this i know but uh i'm in a good mood i'm in a good mood because i've got a lot of cool content to show you guys um probably members only content at least for the, for the foresee foreseeable future we'll see how we get around that but it just makes no sense to me to give away my um research points end of the line that's it let me know down below in the comments i don't know maybe someone watches this video 
um so you can just let your you know opinions down below remember try and stay civilized um but uh yeah that's where i'm gonna leave you thanks for watching goodbye